morning. Looks like you got your hands full this morning, Jen. Today's a big day, Al. I'm showing Mr. Miller my poetry. Mm, get it, girl. Sorry, the elevators are down today, though. Sorry about that, Jen. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Miller. I was wondering if you would take a look at some of my poems. No, come on, that's boring. <laughs> oh, Mr. Miller, I love the new tie. Did you tie it yourself? T did you tie it yourself? He's not eight. Mr. Miller, I've written a poetry collection and... Just making sure you haven't forgotten about tonight. I know you hate surprises, but you're gonna love it. Dress nice, by the way. I'm wearing that new jacket I bought. It's so... Ugh, oh, Tom, enough. None of this is important. Oh, and hurry with the coffees. Mr. Miller is not in a good mood. I want an email sent to all staff clearly laying out the protocol for tomorrow. No dumb questions, no direct eye contact, no photographs. I know how you kids like to gram everything. No gramming. What do you know about Liz Harvey? Uh, I know she's one of the most famous novelists in the world. Everybody knows that. I mean, what do you know about her personally? You work at her agency. I know she writes under a pseudonym. And her real identity is a mystery. Are you reading this online? No. No way. <laughs> she also... Wait, nobody even knows what she looks like? Nobody. Except me, obviously. I've been her agent for decades. Even then, she's never been to this office. Ever. But now we find out she's being recognized at the Written Word Awards in Scotland, and now suddenly she's coming in. Sorry, I'm late. I had to... You understand, Tom? If Liz Harvey is coming here, she must have a big reason. Big. Everything needs to run perfectly. It will. It better. Good luck. Mr. Miller? Let's do something different for lunch tomorrow. I was thinking takeout. There's a new place on Fifth Street. Order from there. Mr. Miller, if you have a minute, I would love to talk to you about my poetry collection. Miller! Janice, hello. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. No, cut every third page and print it. Yeah, that's what I said. I knew a girl named Nomi, hair as black as the raven that kept me awake when I was young. How did you manage to snag such a good table? I told them I was an agent with Miller Lit. Talent scouting. Uh, Tom, you're not an agent. Relax. You're telling me you've never told a little white lie pretending to be someone else before? No. You need to live a little. <laughs> Eyes as vast as the universe. So, how to go with Miller in the end? There's been an exciting new development, actually. Mm -hmm. He would like takeout for his lunch tomorrow. So you didn't tell him? It wasn't the right moment. It's never gonna be the right moment. You just gotta do it. I knew a girl named Nomi, but she didn't know me. Tough crowd. It takes so much courage to get up there. It does. You're right. So, I may have done something you're not going to be too happy about. <laughs> okay, next up we have a poet named Jen Oakley. Uh, Mom, what did you do? Come on, you can do this. No, no, you don't understand. My poems are personal. I, I can't. Come on, the, the world needs to hear your words. I believe in you. Jen Oakley. Oh. Hi, I'm, um, Jen Oakley. Yeah! Oh, come on. She, this is my friend. She's like Sylvia Plath. <laughs> Only better! Yeah! Thank you. Hmm? No pressure. This is a poem called... Um... Um... It's called... Just, just breathe. Just in, out, in, and out. Can you only... 
only have breakdowns when the elevators are working, please? <laughs> Best view in the city, huh? You can really stretch your gaze. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pushed you to share your work. I was just... It's not your fault. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why can't I just show my poems to Mr. Miller? Or anyone? I just feel so... lost. You just need to work on your confidence, that's all. And once you do that, everything else will fall into place. And I believe congratulations are in order. Liz Harvey, author of the year. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It's actually why I wanted to come talk to you. My demographic is older, and I want to be relevant to the younger generation. Well, Liz, a lot of Still young Still talking. I need a public platform. Liz, you're one of the best-selling novelists in the world. You. Are you on social media? Have you read any of my books? Exactly. Kids want to connect these days. We need to use my personality to sell these books. I need to get myself out there into the world, which is why I have decided to go to Scotland and collect the award myself. And I want it all over social media. The books, the grams, chats, and talks, and the rest too. I'm good time. But Mr. Miller said to be uh, here. Hello? Mr. Miller, it's Atlantic. Uh, this is so exciting. Let me just take this and I'll be right back. The food girl will bring you anything you need. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're a writer? A uh, poet, sort of. I mean, part-time poet, I guess. I... Shame poetry is dead. There are no more good poets. Well, that's not true. James Macduff is an excellent poet. Who? James Macduff, he's a poet. Liz, I apologize. Forgive me. Give us a room. Give us a room. Where were we? Scotland. Scotland. I like your flower. Thank you so much. Hey, Tom. Mr. Miller and Liz Harvey have food poisoning. <laughs> Wait, what? Liz is supposed to be on her way to Scotland to collect her award, and Mr. Miller is furious. He's saying you need to go instead. What? Wait, go where? Scotland. Your flight leaves in two hours, and your tickets are at the airport. You need to go. No, what are you talking about? Airport. Now. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, excuse me? Sorry. I was just wondering if there was anywhere else to sit. Mm, it's just what's in front of you. Sorry. Um, I'm not even supposed to be here, actually. Um, uh, my agency, Miller Lit. Miller Lit? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's you. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm such a big fan. <laughs> well, I, I just thought you would be older. <laughs> oh, right. Come, come. Um, Let's find you somewhere more appropriate. Oh, right. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. We need that seat. It was reserved. Reserved? It wasn't. It, no, it was reserved. And I don't like your tone. You do understand that I can revoke your first class privileges like that. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. 
worry, don't worry. I, I know all about your low profile. Your secret is uh, safe with me, Miss Harvey. <laughs> Thank you. Do you need some help? I'm an author. I think helping yourself to my seat was enough for one night, eh? An author? <laughs> Who are you? Well, I'm, um... I'm not really supposed to tell you this, but, um... I'm Liz Harvey. Maybe you've heard of me. Liz Harvey? Of course. Oh, are you a fan? Would you like me to autograph something for you? Fan is a bit of a stretch. Tough to be a fan of someone with so little substance. Someone who churns out a new mystery romance novel every ten minutes? Excuse me? And who are you to have such a lofty opinion? James Macduff, a real writer. <coughs> um, you're James Macduff? But the, the, the beard and the hat, you look so different. You, you're my favourite poet. I doubt that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my writer's block. It was nice to meet you, Liz. 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 Yes, Liz is my name. And uh, writing novels is my game. Not sure why I needed to rhyme. Maybe you're a bit of a poet too. <laughs> mm. Tom, my cell coverage is terrible, so I hope you get this. Listen, this whole trip has been a nightmare. My flight was delayed, they lost my luggage, and I embarrassed myself in front of James McDuff. Me, James McDuff! Also, I haven't received anything from you about my hotel. Did you send it? I have no idea where I'm going. Text me, ASAP. Thanks. Yeah, right. Worst storm in years. <laughs> You're lucky you missed it, all right. Thanks for coming to get me, Alfie. Any excuse to leave the house? You know how Maggie's stress bakes. I've had to let my trousers out twice. Uh, no, Alfie, that's Liz Harvey, the one who writes all those fluff novels that Maggie reads. We, we... Hello, dear. You all right, then? Sorry, uh, I'm trying to get to the Isle of Skype, and um, the bus doesn't seem to be coming, and uh, <laughs> is it always so windy here? <laughs> It's Sky, the Isle of Sky. James McDuff? Still. You know, we happen to be headed to Sky as well. I'm sure Mr. McDuff would be happy to offer you a lift. Not especially. Fine, yes. Would you like a lift, Liz? I wouldn't want to impose. OK, then. James? No imposition at all. I'm sure it'll be a fun five-hour car journey. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, are you going to the Written Word Awards as well? Yes. Presenting this year. Your diary has a J on it. Hmm? No. It's a journal, not a diary. I have the same one. It's a diary. 
What does the J on yours stand for? Oh, that's that's a good question. Um, it stands for uh, J. The J stands for J. Deep. Jumping. No. Jumping. Okay, sure. Yeah, I like to jump into my writing. Don't you? And the J on yours? James. My name. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. What are you working on? Nothing. Same as back in the lounge? Seems like it's really stressing you out. I'm under contract for a new poetry collection. That's great. It's ridiculously overdue, is what it is. For the life of me, I can't seem to write lately. Yeah, I know what that's like. Do you? I can't imagine Liz Harvey struggling to put down words. You know, you're not like I thought you'd be. More charming? Vain. Vain. Who oh, am I? Maybe I have to be. Maybe I have to hold myself to a higher standard. I care about every word on every page in my collections. You should try it. Oh, need to focus. Oh, and uh, we all saw your soup stain shirt, by the way. Very impressive. Stunning, isn't she? It's just like the poster at the bus stop. We always stop here for a bit of tea to appreciate it all. We don't. You do. And we really should be going. I feel like I might be more creative at home. Home? Wait, you live on Sky? I thought you were just coming up for the awards. I have a small estate on Sky, yes. Surely nothing compared to your hotel which we probably should be getting you to. Where are you staying? Uh, right, yeah, um... I just need to verify that with my assistant. <sighs> no. No. Oh, come on. Oh, sorry. Cell coverage isn't great. Perhaps you should stay with us for the evening. No! no. Just until you get sorted. I wouldn't want to be a burden. I need to focus to get some work to my editor. Surely it would be okay for one night. Maggie would be thrilled, I'm sure. And James is always happy to help a fellow writer in need. Of course. You're very welcome to stay for a night with us. <laughs> Oh, 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 you've gone far too skinny for my liking. Didn't they have any food over there in America? It's not as good as your cooking, Maggie. Welcome, Miss Harvey. A small estate? It's like a castle. Yes, dear. It's been in his family for generations. Is that her? Is that the Liz Harvey? I thought she'd be older. Aren't all great authors old? Hey, you think I'm not? Liz, Liz, oh, big fan. Biggest fan. Oh, I am so happy that you are here. I, I can't believe it. I, oh, 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 I always knew I would meet you one day. I've read all your books, every single one. OK. And I've got so many questions for you. I just don't know where to start. Oh. Perhaps letting her go so she can breathe would be a good place to start, Mags. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. OK. <laughs> <sighs> Any damage from the storm? Oh, not to the manor, sir, but uh, half the roads in the village are still closed. 
They're still trying to pick up all the branches and debris. It was such a terrible one. I mean, they're saying it's going to be two to three days before they get the internet back up. The house phone still works, right? Oh, it does, yes. Good. You can use that to get your hotel sorted. <laughs> oh, that was quite some storm, wasn't it? Of course, the wind was nothing like the wind on the heath in your second novel. Though it was still enough to blow the bonnet clean off a bonny baby, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll never forget the ending of that second one, when that Italian lassie loses the lock at the Conrad gave her. Oh, oh! Wait now. I'm getting confused, so I am. Which one of your books was it when the farmer's daughter ran off with the lighthouse keeper? Uh, the... I think... The, 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 the light of the ocean. That's it. What year did that one come out again? I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, is this an award? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, he, he won that one when he was Poet Laureate, youngest ever in the country, 24 years old, imagine. Where do you keep all your awards? Uh, my house. Mansion. They're in my mansion. What about this one? Oh, would you look at that. That was the first one he ever won. Nine years old, won at his school. Lovely wee poem about a cat up a tree. I think I've still got it somewhere. It's... I can see how proud of him you are. Oh, hi. He's just like a son to me, that lad. These will be your quarters for the duration of your stay. Oh, wow. I'll have Alfie bring your bags up. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, the airline lost my bag. I don't have anything. You're joking. Well, what are you going to sleep in? Oh, uh, just this, I guess. Oh, you poor wee thing. That'll never do. I'll have a route around and see if I can find you something. Oh, thanks. Well, it's Harvey in my clothes. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Settled. I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes. Thank you. He's not himself, you know. Sorry? James. He's not himself. Hasn't been in quite some time. Oh, I, I didn't... He's under a lot of pressure right now. He's not normally so... Rude. Sorry. That came out wrong. Consumed would be a better word. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure you know that you're welcome to stay as long as you need. I'll be leaving in the morning. I just need to hear back from my assistant. Of course. Like I said, the offer's open as long as you like. I'll see. Boss is calling. <laughs> Dinner will be ready shortly. Dinner's on its way. You're joining us, right? I didn't know if you'd perhaps like to dine with just your guest tonight. Nah. No. Why break tradition? We always eat together. I'll get a couple more place settings. It really is so kind of you to let me stay and to invite me for dinner. Well, Scots are kind people. I see you've been swaddled by Maggie then. Shockingly comfy. And stylish. 
Oh, wow, that smells good. It's a traditional Scottish dish called haggis. Sounds wonderful. It is. Though, Miss Harvey, have you ever had haggis before? Oh, please, call me Liz. And I haven't. What is it? It's a sheep's stomach. A sheep's... Stomach, yes. I actually ate quite a lot on the plane. Those little packets of peanuts are quite filling. Don't you let him get in your head, my dear. It's far better than your American hot dogs. Thanks, Maggie. Sadly, I can't argue with that. That's a lot. By all means, tuck in. Hmm. That's quite a lot of salt, my dear. Are you sure you want... Oh, it's OK. I love salt. Salt is my friend. Mm. Oh. Wow, it's... It's really nice. Oh, do you really think so? Yeah, I've never tasted anything like it. Well, that means a lot coming from you. I know you're quite the chef yourself. Am I? I read in a magazine that you love to cook in your spare time. Oh, yeah, I love to cook. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's settled. You'll have to cook for us one night. Oh, um... <clears throat> wow. Uh, I would love to. In fact, I would love nothing more. But, um, I wouldn't want to impose on your kitchen, seeing as you're such a brilliant chef yourself. Impose not at all. It would be an honour. <laughs> Liz probably won't have time to cook, will you? Uh, no. Unfortunately not. You'll be needing to get on to wherever it is you're supposed to be staying as soon as possible, I imagine. Right. Yes. Definitely. Well, I already called the hotels and they are all booked. Weddings, whiskey tastings, the awards. Oh, Sky gets quickly booked up in the summer, you know. If your assistant didn't pre-book you, then you're going to have to spend the rest of the week with us. <laughs> Hi, it's Tom. Sorry, missed your call. But let's be real, I'm probably out somewhere having a fabulous time. Try me on socials. Mwah. Hey, it's me, again. I'm calling you from a house phone this time. I know, they still make those. But I just thought you'd like a little update on this living nightmare I'm in, seeing as how it's completely your fault. So I'm now staying at James Macduff's manor. But don't worry, because he thinks I'm freaking Liz Harvey. Yes, you heard that right. So that's a bit of an issue. And apparently, all of the hotels are booked out, which I'm assuming is why you're dodging my calls, which is smart, because I am going to destroy you when I... Hmm? Oh, well, Miss Harvey. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Never better. Thank you. Night, night. Bullet points. James thinks I'm Liz. I'm stuck here for the week. This is your fault. Save me! Hi. Maggie told me you might need something to wear. These are mine. Thank you. Any luck getting through to the agency? No, uh, I left a message, but I haven't heard back yet. Tricky with the uh, time difference. Mm -hmm. Something else? Alfie said I was a bit mean and should apologize, so. There you go. Good night. That wasn't an apology. The acoustics in here are so weird, you can't hear anything.
much salt. Definitely use too much salt. I understand that, but I can't just put any of the words down on the page. None of the words feel right. You don't get it. Yes, I'm aware I'm past the deadline. I just need a little more time to... Yes, I know it's been pushed back multiple times now. What do you want me to do? The words are everything. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling the pressure. I'll get back to my desk and try to get you something by the end of day tomorrow. Morning. Ah, here she is now. How do you sleep? I think I had the most peaceful sleep of my life. That's the Scottish air. Uh, sir, surely there's enough room for Miss Harvey at the table this morning? Miss Harvey, yes. Her hair, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup of tea. What are you doing? Uh, making tea. Would I, either of you like a cup? Yeah, don't let Maggie see you doing that. Doing what? There's a pot of tea on the table. Why are you looking at me weird? Oh, don't mind him, Miss Harvey. Just different customs is all. In Scotland, we use the kettle to make tea, not the, uh, microwave. My shortbread biscuits will be burnt to a crisp and you just sitting there, not paying attention, will you? Patter. Sorry, Maggie. You always do this. And they're always fine. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Miss Harvey. Liz. <laughs> you must think this is a nut house. What are you doing at the microwave? Nothing. Keep your paws off, Alfie McDougall. They're not for you. Now, I've got to get these up to the town hall for the bake sale whilst they're still warm. What bake sale? Oh, the villagers trying to raise some money for the damage done by the storm. I'll drop them over for you. Gives me a chance to make a donation. I'll come too. I need clothes, unless you would like me to keep wearing yours. I can pick you something up. What do Americans wear? Backwards caps and obnoxiously loud shirts? What? I mean, yeah, a lot of them. Too many. But uh, not me. I'm stylish. Well, the clothes shop might not even be open. It is uh, 11. Sir? Fine, five minutes in the car. If you're not there, and please wear a hat. <laughs> Just got in yesterday afternoon. Did you miss the storm, son? I was lucky, all right. How long are you back for this time? You need to come and let me cook you a roast. He's just in the door, hen. Let him be. Besides, he'll be coming to mine for a roast for years. Your roast? <laughs> Please. This is ridiculous. James, you will come round, won't you? I will. To both your homes. Or we could have one big roast together. But right now, I need to deliver these biscuits or Maggie will have my hide. So lovely to see you all, but we really need to be on our way. We? This is Liz Harvey. Not sure if you've heard... Liz Harvey! The Liz Harvey? I've read all your books. I'm your biggest fan. No way. I am your biggest fan. We were just talking about romancing the nectar of the bees at our book club. So moving. So moving. Yes. You must come to our little club. It would mean the world. 
Looks like you've got this under control. I'll be back in a bit. James, don't leave me. James! Come on, love. It's so exciting you're here. Yeah. You're here in person. Move, move, you old dove. I knew it. I could sense from inside that it had arrived. I'm so excited. And you, you didn't even tell me. I didn't see it. What is it? It's the latest Liz Harvey novel. The bell tower rings thrice. Of course it is. Oh, I cannot wait for Liz to get back so I can ask her all about it. You survived. Haven't found some clothes? Yes. No thanks to you. Luckily, one of the women from my interrogation escorted me to the store. Everyone really is very nice here. Glad you got some quality time with your fans. Jealous? I'm sure they'll still have you over for a roast. Oh, come try my roast. No, come try my roast. Was that an attempt at a Scottish accent? No. What? Why, was it good? No. No. Right. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got you something, or rather, had something thrust at me, which I thought you might like. Have you ever had a scone? It's not a type of haggis, is it? <laughs> Come on, let's get some tea. Always need tea with a scone. Oh. Oh, this is so good. What? How is this so good? Don't forget to breathe. Mm, I think this is the nicest thing I've ever tasted. <sighs> this place is so inspiring. I can see why so many famous writers come here. Sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault I have writer's block. Want to know what I do when I have writer's block? Copy and paste text from your last 10 books and change the names? Funny. No, I don't write. What? I just don't write. I do anything else, anything that takes my mind off writing. It's like why you get so many good ideas in the shower, because you're not trying to force good ideas. Hmm. Well, I have my own techniques, but thanks, though. Are you going to finish that? I don't understand is if Elizabeth loves George, why doesn't she just tell him the truth? Sorry? Elizabeth, she says she wants to marry George, but she's lying to him. Nothing worse than a liar. Oh, definitely. So, why doesn't she just tell him? Um... Well, what do you think? Oh, please. She's clearly scared of losing him. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, if you knew that, then why... And here's another thing that doesn't make any sense. Oh, OK, there's more. Why doesn't he just kiss her? I mean, she's right there with her heaving bosoms and her... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I remember. So kiss the girl. I swear, if I have to wait to the end of the story before their first kiss... <laughs> oh, and another thing. Oh, wait, I've got so many questions. Oh, and we'll answer every one. Um, but finish the book first. There's lots of twists in that one. Oh, are there? Probably. Liz! <laughs> Do you not like talking about your books? Yes, 
Of course. Uh, I'm, I just need to get some water. Oh, where are you off to? Daily hike. Can I come? Nah. Nah? Nah. Hiking is my me time. My time to reflect, let ideas come to me, and I really, really need an idea. Fine. I'll go on my own hike. Your own hike? Yes. I'll reflect, let ideas come to me, and maybe find a signal. Can be pretty confusing out there. Sure you won't get lost? Oh, please. My navigating skills are top notch. Thank you, Alfie. That's a closet. I knew that. Just making sure you don't pass out and topple backward. Such a gentleman. Thought you didn't want a hiking partner. This is my route. Oh, funny. This is my route! You seem to know it well. Still wearing my jacket, I see. It's comfy. I know. That's why I bought it. You know, I'd heard that all Scots were gentlemen, but you... Wow. I know. Really something, isn't it? No matter how many times I see it, it still gets me every time. You can see so far. How is this place even real? It's nice, eh? You can really stretch your gaze. Uh, what are you doing? Think that might be the one you're after? Oh, sorry. I just get nervous about people seeing my work. Um, until my editor looks it over, of course. Really? I'm the same, actually. Or I used to be. I never used to let anyone near my work. Especially my first collection. The Weight of Mourning. You know it? Most people haven't even heard of it. I've read all of your work. Listen, I'm sorry if I've come across as rude about your novels. I presume you're working on something new now. Oh, yeah. Of course. Um... Well, it's about a man. Intriguing. So original. And uh, he lives in the mountains. And he's a poet. I mean, um, a police officer. A mountain-dwelling police officer poet? Yeah, they exist. Of course they do. Rain's coming. I don't know about her. Who? Liz. What do you make of her? I think she's a very nice person. What's the word? Uh, quirky. She isn't anything at all like I imagined her to be. You know, I was asking her about her latest book. <laughs> a thorough interrogation, I'm sure. Well, it was like she didn't know anything, like she'd never read it. You know she's on a hike with James right now. He doesn't hike with anyone. I know. Not since the ex fiance And he took her. Took, begrudgingly allowed, sort of was forced. Somewhere between those things. <sighs> what? I thought you'd be happy. I don't like it. There's something off about her, Alfie. And I'm gonna find out what. Ah, Maggie. Don't start now. Let them be. Look! What? There. The Highland Cows. Have we never seen one before? Uh, you mean a cow that looks like every member of the Beatles? Um, no.
Oh, no. Do you have an umbrella? I'm afraid you'll melt. Umbrellas are no good in Scotland. Just have to embrace it. Well, I only have one set of clothes and I don't want to get them wet. I mean, no offense to the outfits that you and Maggie gave me, but. I think you can make it over there before it starts to pour. Is that a challenge? Well, we gave it a good go. Can't beat Mother Nature. I can't believe there's a fire going in the summer. I love this place. Honestly, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The pub? It's just our local. No, Sky. Ah. Uh, I think the preferred pronunciation is Skype. Ha ha. No, seriously, all of Scotland, really. I... It feels like... I don't know, it... It feels like home. Is that stupid? Well, how about it, Macduff? You gonna give us a read while you're in? Of course. A bit of rain, a bit of drink. Best add a bit of wordplay. This is a new one. It's not finished. It's called The Quiet. <clears throat> when you left, the laughter left with you. It is silent now. Hollow halls with quiet floorboards. A quiet that screams of its longing. For you. No? Perhaps a bit depressing, son. <clears throat> I think what you just did was really brave. What do you mean? Standing up and sharing your work like that, it's courageous. Well, this one clearly needs a bit of work. But I find the only way to see if my words will have an impact is to share them. Well, I wish I had the confidence to do something like that. You're Liz Harvey. Millions of people adore your work. You should be extremely confident. Why don't you read something from your notebook? What, now? No time like the present. No, no, no. I, no, I know no, I you don't like to share your work in its early stages, but trust me, this is a safe place. Can I have your attention? This is a friend of mine from America. She's quite the famous writer, and she's going to share with us a few words today, if that suits. <clears throat> In fact, I find me lass. A bonny wee lass was bonny wee Jeannie McCall. I gave her my mother's engagement ring and a bonny wee tartan shawl. I met her at the wedding at the cooperative hall. I was the best man, she was the belle of the ball. The first night that I met It seems like no one has a problem getting up and performing except me. Where do you all find the confidence? I don't think it's about confidence. I think it's about honesty. As long as you're honest with your words, you will eventually find the right ones, even if it takes a while. I bet your poems are brilliant. I was the best man, she was the bell of the ball. Macduff residence. Oh, thank God. Finally. Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. I need to speak with Liz Harvey. She's not here at the moment, I'm afraid. She's out on a hike with Mr. Macduff. A hike? Jen? I mean, Liz? <laughs> uh, this is Tom from Miller Lit. Uh, can you please have her call me right away? It's urgent. Certainly. Thanks. Oh, Mr. Miller. <laughs> Glad to see you're feeling better. Can I get you anything? A coffee, water? Pull me through to Liz Harvey. I need to finalize some arrangements. Arrangements? Yeah. Scotland bagpipes, William Wallace, kilts. I'm sure you're familiar. No. Uh, yes, uh, of course, but you sent Jen to get her award. I did, but Liz is feeling better, and now she wants to go. Unless that is inconvenient for you. Huh? I did, no, no, of course. I'll get your tickets booked right away. What's 
like a bit of a dance. What, just like that in the middle of the pub? Come on, McDuff, get her off. Fresh beat on the floor. Oh, no, no, no. Can't say no, no now. Uh, well, I think I just did several times. Come on. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Let go. The music will guide you. Okay, Miss Harvey, let's see what twists this story has. Maggie. Just uh, finishing up. You cannot be serious. What? He was a great poet in his day. Dr. Seuss. Yeah, the cat in the hat is a near perfect example of poetic alliteration. Madness. <laughs> Though your conviction is convincing. We don't have stars like this in New York. They'll be here whenever you'd like to visit. Oh, there you both are. I was about to send Alfie out looking for you. We're back and we are starving. Oh, good. I've prepared the kitchen for Liz to cook for us. Me? Might be a bit late for tonight. Oh, nonsense. An expert like her. She'll be fine, won't you, dear? Mm-hmm. Sure. Excellent. Settled, then. Hi, it's Tom. Sorry, missed your call. But let's be real, I'm probably out somewhere having a fabulous time. Try me on socials. Mwah. Hey, it's me. Glad you're at least getting my messages. You want to hear something crazy? I actually had a great day today. We went on this hike, and, and there were these incredible views, and, and then we ended up at the pub, and we got sucked into this dance party thing. I mean, can you imagine me dancing? What? <sighs> James is... Amazing, Tom. He's just fearless. He read his poem out of the whole pub, even though it wasn't ready yet. I don't know. I just feel so inspired by him, by this whole place, really, in a way that I never was in New York. Maybe I don't need that hotel right away. Are you all right, Hen? Oh, uh, call me back. Bye. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're all getting a wee bit hungry. Yes, I was just gathering some... apples for the dish. Got them. Right. What ingredients do you need? Uh, the first thing is... pepper. Pepper and apples? Yeah. Interesting combination. Mm, yeah, it's an old family recipe. Oh, and what is it called? Oh, uh... Pasta... Apple... Chino. Pasta Apple Chino. Oh, you haven't heard of it? Oh, that's crazy. It's so big in Italy. Fascinating. What part of Italy? Oh, uh, the foothills of Spagatonia. That sounds like a place from one of your novels. <laughs> Pasta Appalcino from the foothills of Spagatonia. Well, I can't wait to try this very real sounding dish. Aye, me too. Good. Very good. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, all part of it. All part of it. Let's get started. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sure, you had it, my love goes. I hope you'll turn and look my way. Cause your smile outshines the right. Mm. Pasta Apple Chino. Sounds interesting.
Well, that's a shame. Oh, come, son. It's not that bad. <laughs> Got a bit of pepper cod. Hmm. Burned. In a good way. I'm not sure what went wrong. Oh. It's normally such a hit. Alfie, you spent a lot of time in Italy. I did, I. Beautiful place. And did you ever hear of the foothills of Spagatonia? The what? It, isn't that where you learned to make the dish? Mm-hmm. I think it's the apples. They're a wee bit sour. Yeah, that must be it. I'm gonna get more water for everyone. <coughs> <coughs> I'll come with you. I knew it. Yeah. Liz Harvey can cook Alfie. It grows on you. I think she's lying to us. Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she lied to the magazine about being able to cook. Did you consider that? I suppose that could be feasible. But I am still not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fine, it was terrible. But I swear I make the best peanut butter and jelly in the world. Jelly? You mean jam? Yes. Apple jam with pepper. It's in all of my <laughs> recipes. <laughs> well, perhaps we can pick up some peanut butter and jelly after the awards and you can whip us up some sandwiches. Are you trust me in the kitchen after tonight? Maybe I'm just looking for an excuse to spend more time with you. Well, maybe you don't need an excuse. You need to stop defending her and wake up. Something is going on now. Help me figure it out. Listen to yourself. This is the happiest James has been in years. Why are you trying to take it away? I'm protecting him. He's had his heart ripped out and stamped on by the woman he loves. Do you know what that does to her? Yes, I was there too. I saw the damage she caused. But that's exactly why his connection to Liz is so good. <sighs> James, hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Bad things happen. It's life. This was your fiance? Aye. She left me nine days before our wedding. I came home early from a book signing in London and found her with him. I'm so sorry, James. It's fine. It's just, since then, I haven't been able to write. I know it sounds mad, but it felt like whatever light I had inside me just went out after that. She completely broke my trust. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing more cliche than a sad poet, eh? You'll find your words again. I know it. to tell him the truth. I can't keep lying to him. A McDuff residence. Hi, uh, this is Tom. Liz Harvey, please. Who is this? Please, I need to speak with Liz. It's an emergency, like, like a big emergency. Yes, Tom. She told us you'd be calling. You can give me the message. She told you? So you know? Of course, of course I know. We all know. Cat's out the bag. Oh, awesome. OK, so tell Jan that the real Liz is coming to collect her award, and she's flying to Scotland right now with Mr. Miller. <laughs> Bye. You're learning. <laughs> I'm feeling very fond of Scotland this morning. Figured I'd lean in. Excited for tonight? I don't have anything to wear, but I was thinking maybe we could head into town and you could help me pick something up. It would be an honour. Morning, sir. Miss Harvey. Morning. 
We were just talking about heading into town today, Alfie. Would you be up for driving us? Absolutely. Anywhere in particular. Les will need a gown for tonight, and I need to send something off to my editor. You mean... It's possible that I was struck by some inspiration last night. It seems I just needed to not write a bit. So that's wonderful news. It really is. Congrats. No! No way. Not on my watch. Maggie? I'll tell you. I was struck by something last night too. The truth about our dear Liz Harvey. What? Maggie, remember that thing I needed to discuss with you? No, I don't. Uh, well, I do. Now, please. It'll only be a minute. We'll head into town after breakfast. What are you doing? Oh, Alfie. You might want to sit down when I tell you this. Tell me what? Last night, the phone rang late. It was some lad from America wanted to pass on a message. The real Liz Harvey is on her way. That's not Liz Harvey. That's some liar named Jane, and she's. I know. Got... You know. I know. Well, this, you know this. This that I'm telling you right now. I heard Liz. You no, know Liz. Whoever. I heard her on the phone the other night. I know it's not Miss Harvey. Why didn't you say something? Maggie. Look at them. He wrote last night something he's proud of. When was the last time that happened? I knew it as soon as she got in the car in Edinburgh. There's a spark between them. It's not a spark, it's a fire. And it's her trousers. Liar, liar. I got That's... the reference, thank you. Oh, Alfie. He may not be our blood, but that's our son. I won't sit back and let him get hurt again. No way. I don't want to see him hurt either. But this is different. She is completely different from the last that broke his heart. How do you know? We don't know who she is. She could be a secret spy oh. who's been assigned to come to Scotland and seduce him. You and your silly novels. What's all the whispering? We are just discussing our chore list, sir. Well, we're ready to go when you are. Right away. Me too. I'll go to the village with you. I don't think that's necessary. I wait just a couple of minutes. I'll meet you at the car. Shall we? This is brilliant. Hmm? I can't stop reading it. You should think about putting out an anthology. A what? Your poem, it's excellent. You should think about an anthology. I didn't write this. Yeah, but it was in my office. You were the last writer in there. I am a novelist, not a poet. How long have you been my agent? When have I ever sent you poetry? Hmm? <sighs> poetry is dead. Right. Poetry is for quirky cafes who are trying to sell overpriced drinks to lost 20-somethings. Which, by the way, is the exact demo we need to hook in with my next book. I, I'm going to send you this article. Oh, hello. Yes, I'd love a glass of champagne dropped over. Can you arrange that, please? Oh, well, I'm a gate agent, not a server. Oh, good for you. But I'm Liz Harvey, so even if you're the pilot of my flight, I would like you to get a glass of champagne, please. <laughs> oh, nice try, ma'am. Excuse me? <laughs> right, you're Liz Harvey. Yes. Well, I've met Liz Harvey, and you're not her. That's the whole look. Way off. <laughs> Do your research next time. <gasps> what? Okay, Cinderella, let's find you a dress for the ball. I took a leap of faith with a glowing no. face for a very first date. 
No way. You look like you're going to a funeral. I saw a wee dog wearing something similar the other day. Not a cute dog. <laughs> No, definitely not. No? Not this one either? I think you look... Wow. Wow in Scottish means awful. Sorry, lass. Maggie. If it's not good, I... It's very good. Good. I'll take this one then. Would you mind helping me get the zipper down? All right, where's the zipper? I'm so sorry. Hey? I know you know, Maggie. Please don't tell James. Ah. Yes, I know. How could you do this to him? I never intended to hurt him, I swear. It was just a misunderstanding, and then it got completely out of hand. There was some misunderstanding. I, I nearly had you sign all my books. I mean, who even are you, really? I'm nobody. Nobody. I'm just some assistant from the real Liz's agency. I had to come here to come and pick up her award. And then, I don't know. I, I never intended for things to go this far. He's been lied to before. His heart is fragile. I know. I know. And I don't know what to do. I don't want him to hate me. You have got to come clean. You've got to tell him the truth. He needs to know. Yeah, I'm going I'm to tell and him. And soon. I just need to figure out what to say. Well, you figure it out quickly, because if you don't tell him before the awards, I will. Oh, sir, did you get your mail off? Just sent a new poem over to my editor. Same day delivery. I'm very excited. It's good to see you inspired again, sir. It's nice to be inspired again. Hey. Everything okay? Of course. Sorry, I'm just tired. I'm so happy for you, though. Truly. The good luck continues. Looks like your suitcase finally arrived. What? Over there. No! What's going on? I, uh, I think we thought you were going to take it inside, sir. Yes, that's it. Uh, it's very heavy. Don't want you putting your back out before the big night. What? Well, I'll get this, sir. Oh, it's like she's packed bricks. Hello. Tom, you told Maggie? Jen, finally. Wait, who's Maggie? The lady with the funny accent? Oh, she said she knew. What? What did she? You know what, it doesn't matter. What's happening? Well, Liz Harvey and Mr. Miller are flying to Scotland for the award show tonight, and uh, they're going straight there, so figured you wouldn't want Liz finding out you're pretending to be her. <laughs> Jen? You okay? Oh, I've really messed up, Tom. It's really bad. It's James. I like him so much, but I think I've screwed everything up. I should never have said that I was Liz Harvey. What was I thinking? Well, just tell.
tell him the truth. No, you don't understand. I can't just tell him the truth. He values trust over everything. He, it would break his heart. And yours by the sound of it. Listen, if this guy is as great as you say he is, then he'll know you're not a bad person. You just made a mistake. Jen. Liz is coming, and he's gonna find out one way or another, so... Better to hear it from you. I know. Thanks, Tom. I'll see you soon. Everything okay? Good. I, uh, wanted to tell you something. I've been wanting to tell you something all day, actually. Me too. You first? Uh, no, you first. Okay. Last night, when I wrote my new poem, the words just came out of nowhere. That's amazing. I know how rare that is for a poem to just show up like that, so fully formed. Exactly, yes. It's like clearing my brain made room for all these words, and, well, they came from our time together. You inspired me, and I'd like to dedicate my new collection to you. James, stop. You unlocked something within James, me. James, I have to tell you something. Sorry to interrupt. James, your editor's on the phone. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. James! James! That was my editor. She loves the poem. She thinks it's one of the best things I've ever written. I'm back on track, finally! Oh, I'm so happy for you, James. Oh, oh yes, son, I'm so happy for you. We should get going. The presenters need to be there early, remember? Right. Maybe next year I'll be receiving an award, eh, Alfie? No doubt, sir. That we should head on. Uh, I'll come back for Liz. I think Maggie's still helping her to get ready anyway. Perfect. I've uh, picked her some flowers from the garden and put them in a vase in the hall. I'll see that she gets them, sir. Look, I know that what I've done is unforgivable. And I know I need to tell him, and I will. But trust me, I couldn't feel any worse than I already do, so please don't be harsh with me. Look, that's not why I'm here, Hayme. I came to apologize. If what you did was wrong, there's no doubt about that, but... I haven't seen James like this for a long time. He's happy, truly happy, for the first time in years. This thing you have with him, is it real? Yeah. Then you have my support. Thank you. But he needs the truth. So you go and tell him and let him start falling for the real you. We need to go live before they call my name. Yeah. It takes a moment. Yeah, of course. And don't stop until I'm off stage. Give it yeah. a beat, then stop. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's fine. Just might need to call my assistant to figure out how to go live. Actually, that food girl should be here. Where is she? The one who poisoned us? <sighs> Maybe don't trust her with my big moment. Where is she? Here she comes. I have no words. 
You look lovely, my dear. Thanks, Alfie. Is James... Already at the awards. Let's get you there to join him. Mr. Miller, Ms. Harvey, I am so glad to see that you're feeling better. Do we know you? Oh, Are she you? must be an author. Love your look. Are you on the Instagram? What? It, it's me, Jen. Your second assistant, sir. Food girl? I didn't recognize you. Have you met Liz Harvey? I don't yes. think so. Excuse me for a moment. There you are. You look fantastic. Me? I think you might steal the show tonight. You look stunning. Hello. Uh, hello, yes. Do you know how to go live by any chance? No, sorry. Oh, okay. It's so hard to be hip. <laughs> I'll just take a drink then. Get one for Mr. Miller too. Excuse me, do you know who you're talking to? Oh my, you're a tall drink of handsome, aren't you? Hi. Ow, Miss... ow, bug, oh. big bug bit me. Are there bugs here? Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm a New Yorker, we don't do bugs. Oh, oh. who holds an award show in a place with nature? It's disgusting. Who was that? James. I have to tell you something. Mr. McDuff? Hi. Sorry, they're expecting you backstage. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Unless I burst into flames, which wouldn't be entirely welcome right now. Enough of this. Let's go, Maggie. Please welcome our next presenter, James McDuff. No idea who that is. Me neither. It's James McDuff. Thank you. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Literary Agent. Sorry, Mrs. Harvey? My time to reflect. Oh, he but probably means you. <laughs> I'd imagine so. They're ready for you backstage. Start with Corey. Yeah. How'd I do? James, I really need to talk to you. That bad, eh? No, it's... And here she is. To receive her Author of the Year Award, please welcome in an extremely rare public appearance, the one and only Liz Harvey. <laughs> James. That's not you. Wait, why isn't that you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm not Liz Harvey. Well, that's not good. That's it, guys. I don't want to hear it, Alfie. I'm going to make sure our James is OK. You can't just... Well, I am. So join. Or bugger off. You lied to me. I swear I never meant to hurt you. That's the last thing I ever want to do. If you're not Liz Harvey, who are you? My name's Jen Oakley. I work at the agency that represents Liz. I'm nobody. Are you even a writer? Or is that just a lie, too? No, I am a poet. Or I want to be. James, I'm so sorry. If we can just go somewhere and talk. Why? Why should I listen to a single word you have to say? Because even though I pretended to be Liz, my feelings for you are real. I don't believe you. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? You know what? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. It doesn't matter anyway. Have you completely lost your marbles? C 
can't just sit at home and miss this. This is like a real life Liz Harvey novel. I mean, kind of. Let's murder all the romance. Tickets, please. Oh, we don't need tickets. We're here for love. What? Now, kindly step aside. Do you have tickets or no? Love. Love is our ticket. Now move. Maggie, he's not going to let you in. Sorry. No tickets, no admittance. Please, will you just listen to me? I'm done listening to you. I can't handle any more lies. James, please, this is all just one big mistake that got completely out of hand. Take it. It means nothing now. What is happening out there? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, microphone, talking, <laughs> big speech. <laughs> please, please don't go. I care about you so much, please. Sort of stealing my thunder here. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just give me five minutes. Give me five minutes to explain. If you really cared, you would have told me the truth. That's all there is to it. Oh, and the poem is about you. So not only did you lie, but you made the first thing that I felt good about writing in years a lie to. Oh my goodness, wrap it up, am I right? But there's not playoff music here, right? This isn't coming out of my time. No, James. Help me, you old goat. You're being ridiculous. I'm having none of this. Oh. What are you two doing here? James. Where is she? What? Who? Have you two made up? Hang on. You knew. Um... A wee bit. Well, maybe. I wanted to tell you, I really did. Alfie, she really cares for you, son. You too, eh? I know you're upset that she wasn't completely honest with you. At all. She wasn't honest at all. She really has feelings for you. And I think you have feelings for her too. How can I have feelings for someone I don't even know? Oh, but you do know her, son. I've seen the way you look at each other. Y she made a mistake. But she's not a bad person. She didn't think you could like her for her. That's why. That's why she was pretending. She really wanted to come clean. She really did, son. Remember, this is the same woman you said couldn't even read a poem out at the local pub. Imagine how hard something like this would be for her. It doesn't matter. It's over. It doesn't have to be. Glad that's over. <laughs> You're all gonna hashtag this, right? Hashtag, thank you, next. <laughs> oh. Now we can get back to our lives. First of all, when I was 12. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I need to say something. Thank you, I'm sorry. My name is uh, Jen Oakley, and I'm a poet. This is for James Macduff. I've seen a land crafted from the ink of fairy tales, where the wind urges you to explore, and the rain washes away your fears. And it's within this land that I found him. I've seen a land where kindness is effortless, where hands are open and giving, and where smiles are bountiful. And within this land, I found him. I can't really see anything. I really hope you haven't all just left. 
Ah, uh, jokes. <laughs> anyway. I've seen a land where history lives on proud tongues, spilled and boasted through song and dance, repeated and revered with full hearts. And within this land, I found him, urging me to explore, washing away my fears, effortlessly kind, with hands open and giving, a part of this land proud of its history. And it's within him I found home. A wise man once told me that great writing is all about being honest. Well, that was honest. That was me. Totally on. I don't have any words. We'll find them together. 